Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve this question. This question we took from Grace Maths Olympiad. So, in this question, you have to find the value of x, y and z. This x, y and z. Can you solve this? If you can, then pause the video and take a try. Let's see the solution. So, our very first step we multiply 1997 on both sides. So we multiply 1997 this side and this side. This 1997 and this 1997 cancel out. So now we multiply this 1997 and this whole number. So 1997 into 13 by x square plus 1997 into 1996 by y square is equal to z so here this z is an integer number and this number is also integer and here this number is also integer so here we look we take this number 1997 into 13 by x square so here we look this 13 and 1997 both are prime number so both are prime numbers so it only cut by 1. So here this x must be is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1. We find the value of x. So we take x is equal to plus minus 1. Because it is an integer. And here we look this 1996 into 1997 by y square. So here this 1997 is a prime number and this 1996 is the divisor by y. So it can be written as 4 into 499 so it is a 4 so y is equal to 2 because 2 the square is equal to 4 so y is equal to 2 so here we find the value of x and y so now we put this value of x and y on this equation so here 1997 into 13 by the square of 1 is equal to 1 plus 1997 into 1996 by the square of 2 is equal to 4 is equal to z so here this 1996 is cancelled out by 4 by 499 so z is equal to we add this number 13 and 499 so here 512 and this common 1997 we multiply the both number so z is equal to here we got this number 1022464 so this is a big number so we let this number is equal to z naught so here we find the value of z is equal to z naught so we get the x and y and z so we again we find another real number 1996 plus 13 is equal to 2009 into 1997 so here we got this this one is also a big number so we let this is equal to n naught so now we find the possible values of x y and z so what are the x y z so here we take x is equal to 1 1 and y is equal to 2 and z is equal to z naught and another one is we take x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to z naught and now we take minus 1 2 and z naught here we take 1 minus 2 and z naught. This is the 4 number and now we take n is equal to n naught. So 1, 2 and n naught. And another one is minus 1 and minus 2 and n naught. And here minus 1 and this is 2 and there is n naught. And here this is plus 1 and minus 2 and n naught. So there is total. 8 solution and 8 values of x, y and z. 
so this is our final answer so here we look n is equal to n naught is another real values of z thank you so much for watching my video if you like the video then subscribe our channel and share it to your friends